Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an on balance volume trading str uh, strategy with no coding experience using our Algo Strategy Builder. So, in this example today, I'm going to show you how to use two indicators. One is the on balance volume, which is the one you see at the top here. And the other one is the relative strength index. We're going to add two of these indicators to our strategy builder and we're going to generate source code that you can put into CTrader and modify, tweak, or send to a coder. So, the strategy works, it's pretty simple. So, for a bearish signal, you want the OBV indicator to be above a certain level, a threshold. That means that it's been overbought, it's a lot of volume, it's about time that it will change uh, direction. And you can use a support and indicator, which is the relative strength index indicator. Again, when the RSI indicator is above an upper threshold like 70, it's usually seen as overbought, the, the instrument's overbought, and, and that the um, price of the asset will start going bearish. It's a very simple indicator. For a buy signal, it will be in reverse. If the OBV was below a lower level, and also if the RSI was below a, lo uh, a lower level. Okay, so this is the help file for the trading strategy uh, system itself. I'm gonna go straight into CTrader now and run the um, strategy builder, build the strategy for you, put it into CTrader, show you the code, um, run a quick backtest and optimization just to show you kind of uh, results you can get if you tweak, tweak the values. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the strategy builder. And you'll see this window, it's very basic and straightforward. So normally it would come up with the start building one, but I was just using this for the video to show you the other one. So normally you would put in your strategy name. So we're gonna call it, um, we'll just call it OBV and RSI strategy. Okay, and spell it correctly. And in here you can put a short description. You can say um, automated system to open trades based on the on balance volume and the RSI indicators. You can put anything you want in here to help you understand what's going on. So as soon as we've done that, we go into our choose indicators. We're just going to go to an oscillator, the relative strength index. Uh, we're going to leave the time frame as one hour, but if you want, you can have multiple time frames. You can put more than one RSI on there. We're going to leave it at one hour to keep it simple. And you can choose your upper and lower level. <clears throat> I would just leave it at default values because when you put it into CTrader, you can actually tweak these values and optimize them to something you want later. You can also specify the periods you're going to use. So I'm going to add this indicator. Now I'm going to go to the volume. I'm going to add the on balance volume indicator. Standard settings. Again, you can choose any time frame you want. Add this indicator. Now we've got our both our indicators loaded. We go to um, trade rules. And in the trade rules, we select the RSI, we save that, that's a bullish signal. So they're saying when, when the RSI indicator um, is below 30, it's a bullish signal. I'm gonna save that, I'm gonna add the other one, the OBV. So the on-balance volume is the same. Uh, when the on-balance volume is um, below 180, it's a bullish signal. Now I can do the same for the two indicators here. You can quickly add them. And what I'm gonna do is now go to the trade actions. And in the trade actions, I'm going to specify that I want a percentage of balance. I'm going to do 1% of the balance, automatically open and close the trades. I don't want any alerts sent anywhere. Risk management, I'm just going to put something straightforward like 5 and 7. I'll do 25 and 7, but again, these values can be changed later. You can add a trading stop, break even, or additional protection if you wish. If I go to review strategy, you can see now uh, and read what the strategy will do. So a bullish trade, when the RSI indicator, periods of 14, hourly time frame, crosses below the 30 level, and the on-balance volume indicator on a wire time frame, the OBV line crosses below 180, then it will give you a bullish signals. Both of these conditions need to be true to open up a, a buy position. Again, our risk management, we've got a variable lot size of 1% of the account balance, stop loss of 25 pips, take for bit of seven. In reverse, we've got it here for the bearish trade. It just tells you um, the RSI has got to be above the 70 level and the OBV indicator has also have to cross above the 240. So again, as I showed you in the previous picture, um, both of these values have to be overbought or oversold, uh, oversold to enter a trade. Now, next thing I want to do is generate the code. So if I click on the generate code, generate, this generates the source code um, that you can then put into CTrader. And I'll show you this now so you can actually start um, if you're a programmer, you can start adding new features. You can also use the Algo Strategy Builder to change and tweak it and add additional indicators. You can also use this as a base strategy to give to a developer to actually start um, coding for you and adding more features. So I'm going to copy that. If I go to the new CBOT build, I just close that. If I was to that and control V it, that'll put the code in there for you. You then just build the CBOT. It would be just build the CBOT. Again, if I go through the code here, you can see all the code that's been created. 
uh, for this strategy. Again, it's clean, so it should be easy for you to actually give to somebody else to make some tweaks. Now, I actually loaded this in previously and run an optimization and backtest on it. But I'm just going to show you how it would work if you saw it. Normally, you'd come up here and you'd have your parameter settings here. So we actually um, have already um, adjusted these parameter settings run an optimization module, which is here. We run hit an optimization, took about six or seven minutes, 10 seconds. And that came up with the best parameters for this strategy. You can see them down here. And you can go through the report here. And it gives you a report, tells you um, different information. So what I'm going to do is run a quick practice just to show you. Um, so again, I'll quickly go over the parameters. Our strategy when we built it um, was 10% risk of your account balance. The stop loss is 96 and 22. These are optimized values over a one year time frame. Again, I wouldn't rely on these on future results. This is just for example, for educational purposes to help you build your CBOT. Okay, so don't rely on these figures thinking that you're going to get these values. If you just run this CBOT, it won't happen. Um, RSI buy, again, you've got the RSA periods to the lower value, the on balance volume time frame. You can change these time frames here as well, so anything you want, and you can change the value for the lower level. So these are all your parameter settings that you can use for the CBOT that you defined when you built the strategy. Um, I'm just going to run a back test just to show you. Um, so this is data fitted values to show you what would happen if you run it over a back test on those values. Again, as I spent, mentioned before, I wouldn't rely on this. It's a 23% drawdown. Um, but you can easily change this risk balance to one and run the CBOT. So this um, Algo strategy build is to help people um, to actually code or enhance an existing project to help you build a, a baseline for a uh, strategy. If you reduce your risk balance, then obviously your drawdown is a lot less, 1.67, and you've got 61 um, pounds. And if you go through here, you can see all the trades that have opened up. OK, so that's the video. Um, all I want to show you is if I go back to the code, Again, this CBOT will create, also generate the code for you, so you can run it and uh, go from there. Now, what I'm going to do next is actually um, just go and show you, I hope I can. So on here, um, to download the strategy file. No, we don't want to download the strategy file. I want to go to the strategy builder. And again, from this help file here, I'll put a link on the YouTube video at the bottom. But if you come to our website at clickalgo.com, there it is, clickalgo.com. If you just do a Google search for Algo Strategy Builder, you'll come to the product where you can actually download it or download a 14 day trial and give it a bash to see what you think. Okay, thank you very much. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you.